It's a gloomy, rainy kind of day today. I guess we've had a lot of sunshine, so... Can't win them all. You can't have all the days good. If you want everything to stay green, it's got to rain, so... I'm just getting ready to go pick up my truck. It had that air leak that was getting replaced, or getting fixed. A valve was getting replaced. Uh, John's outside. He's going to come with me and uh, drive my truck so that I can bring the truck to the yard and whatnot. I need It's a two-person thing. So he offered to come with. So that was nice. And other than that, let the day begin. I'm trying these next day vlogs. We're going to see how it goes. This is how most vloggers do it. I mean, most vloggers that I watch, you know, like Tyler Shelton and uh, Colin and Katie, Ellie and Jared. I, I watch that whole group of people quite a bit. And... Uh, I like the way they keep their vlogs a little bit more relevant like that, and that's what I've been trying to do. But, anyways, onward, let's go get the truck. So I saw in the comment section today, one of you were wondering, we were surprised that John didn't find a way to stick his fedora on top of his helmet yesterday. What do you think of that? Uh, I want to get some helmet stuff, but it's either like mohawks or spikes or something. You're not going to get a fedora from the top of your helmet? I want to try and find one. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be so, really. Someone in the comments section I was reading said, Who else is surprised that John didn't find a way to attach his fedora to the top of his helmet? <laughs> I could buy a cheap fedora, cut it up, and turn my helmet into a fedora helmet. <laughs> May not be approved, but it would... Well, it would just different. be like glued on or whatever. Oh, okay. Maybe it'll happen yet. I don't know. Making up some toast. So we got a few hats here, just a few. Just a few, yeah. John likes his hats. Yeah. Where's all the fedoras? I wear all the fedoras. Oh. Look at these two guys down there. You guys are weird. Oh, one hat that I gotta show you. This one. Signed. To my big bro. Thanks for letting me take shots on you for years. That <laughs> really helped. So yeah, his brother is an NHL player. And this one, I bought it at the second last World Series game. Uh, what year? 2012. You were there? I was at the game. Nice. I didn't, I didn't know you were into baseball. I wasn't. I still am not. Sorry. I was in Detroit and Ian was... Ian was going to the game. He's like, well, hey, you want to go to the game? Sure, why not? Haven't been to a baseball game. I go to the game and I'm like, there's all this World Series stuff around. And I'm like, uh, is this the World Series? Yeah, this is like the, the finals. Okay. <laughs> well, here you got some Blue Jays stuff going on here. Yeah, this is, this is when the Blue Jays won the World Series in 92. Was it the last time they won? No, they won uh, two years later. Oh, wow. Peterbilt, world's largest trunk convoy. It's in Winnipeg, right? Yep. Uh, Nextel Cup Series. This is from Florida, I believe. So you collect hats? Yeah. You like hats? Yeah. I got Swift Current Broncos. See? Oh, yeah. This is their stylish hat and that's actually what the logo looked like oh cool you got the penner travels oh but y'all don't you know yeah gotta have hot or shot jets of course mm -hmm. get her done team canada mm -hmm. but yeah. that one was yep so john just left on his trip he's going to washington state i believe so we headed out there keep an eye out for him and his fedora give him a wave if you see him I thought I heard something outside. It's just the dog. <laughs> I just put him out there for a few minutes so he can get his business done. I'm working on the Trucker Josh store right now. Have you guys uh, seen this before or checked it out? It's, uh, it's always down below in my description. There's a link to it. It's where you can buy uh, clothing and different items with Trucker Josh logos on it and stuff. And, and what I've started doing is uh, what I've told you guys I was going to do. I'm finally getting around to putting these vlogs onto some of the merchandise. Or some of these logos that you guys have sent in. You're going to be able to see them on upcoming Trucker Josh clothing. I'm working on it here in Spreadshirt to get them uh, released today, hopefully. At least a few designs. 
but it's sort of been a relaxing day. It's been frustrating. I've been trying to get this uh, going. I haven't had much luck, but I've just gotten everything on the on the ball now. Just got everything rolling. So we'll see how this how this works out. All right, guys. Who wants to go run outside? Who wants to go run around outside? We just finished periscoping, guys. You missed it. Oh, geez. Here we go again. Here we go. I got them all excited with saying outside. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? I love to go outside. Get me away from this little guy, man. Get him, get him away from me. He's biting my face. He's biting my face, man. Stop it. Stop it, man. He's biting my face. You guys ready for this? Wait, I gotta unlock it first, man. All right, make sure that the neighbors aren't out, the neighbor dogs aren't out. All right. You ready? 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 Incoming! Here, 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 here. There they go. There they go. And around and around they go. And around and around they go. Get him, Sarge. Get him. There's really nothing going on here today, guys. I've been working on that store all day. This is the exciting part of my day when I get to let them outside. And periscoping. But my parrot, my internet here out in the country, like it's not the greatest. So the periscoping doesn't always work the whole time. Either it freezes or the audio is out of sync with my mouth, so <laughs> it looks weird, but uh-oh. Oh, they're going up the grass. Guys! Diesel! Come on! <laughs> Sorry, you can pretty much keep up with him already. Crazy! Going so fast. leave on another trip yes sir we're headed west in Canada so I'm not too sure how these next day vlogs are gonna work so far remember we're on an experimental period so I don't think I'll be doing the maps at the beginning of the videos instead what I'll do is I'll do a review of the week or maybe a review of the trip once I get back I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do just because there has to be a certain degree of privacy yet because we're on the internet and I can't exactly reveal my exact location that is part of my contract. I cannot reveal my exact location all the time. So as long as it's a little bit delayed, a little bit off, and I don't reveal exactly where I am at all times, uh, I'm still good. So uh, I know you guys will probably be asking me in the future, oh, let me know when you're here. Let me know when you're there. Oh, hey, you're headed in my direction. I just want to let you guys know up front that I'm doing these uh, vlogs the next day as a convenience for you guys mostly because I want to do this for you guys, keep you guys more in the loop. Also for me is that the vlogs are a little bit more relevant to me. But at the same time, I have to let you guys know in advance, I don't do meetups on the road. I can't. When I'm on the road, I have things to focus on. I have a destination to get to. I have videos to get done. Log sheets, you know, I have a job to do. And I can't let this interfere with that. So as much as I would love to meet you guys, I know you guys always hit me up on Twitter and Facebook saying, hey, when you come through my town, let me know, I'll buy you lunch. I really do appreciate that, I really do. And I'm not trying to be rude by saying no, but I do have to say no. I don't do meetups on the road. So even if you guys ask, hey, can, can we meet up here? Can we meet up there? I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> I can't. I would love to meet you all, and I'm going, going to find ways to meet you guys in the future but I'll have to do that on my own time. Uh, if you guys run into me at the pumps, or if you see me at the truck wash or something, by all means, come and say hi to me, shake my hand, smack me in the face, whatever you wanna do. But uh, it's free country, whatever. If you smack me in the face, you might get a smack back. I'm just letting you know, just letting you know. You know, I'll turn the other cheek, but at the same time, you better get ready to turn the other cheek yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So uh, yeah, this is a new exciting thing. 
but I just don't want everybody to expect uh, me to be able to do meetups everywhere because I'm just not going to do in any of them because if I do a meetup in one place, I feel really bad for saying no to others. So I'm just going to say no overall. If you guys are in the Seattle area, like I said, you can meet me at Vlogger Fair in August. I will guaranteed be there. Uh, if you do want to come, the tickets are on sale. It's actually uh, an organized event at the exhibition center. So there's a huge expense for Chris Perillo to host this for us. So that money just goes towards, you know, the event, the location and whatnot. And if you want a little bit of a discount, a little bit of extra special perks, you know, some special priority status. I shouldn't say that. I don't know if you get priority status, but you do get special treat, special discounts and stuff if you use the promo code Trucker Josh. one word. Uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll be headed west in Canada. And we will be headed towards British Columbia eventually. I don't know when I will be there yet, nor will I be revealing that. But you can keep your eyes peeled for my beast of a truck if you see me. Give me a salute, give me a wave, give me the finger, whatever you want to do, I don't care. I won't get offended either way. I would prefer you wouldn't do the latter. It's not very nice to do that to people. You really shouldn't be doing that to people. Children, never do that to people. Never do that. But some people, they're just rude like that, right? And you don't want to be rude. But if people are rude to you, you also want to be respectful in return. So if you want to give me the finger, I'll smile back. Maybe I'll blow you a kiss. That's what I usually do to people who give me the finger. I just blow them a kiss. Oh, he likes me. Look at that. He likes me. Blow him a kiss. <laughs> oh, all right. Should we get to this, guys? Should we get to this? That's about how I feel, too, Diesel. You got the right idea, man. Good idea. I'm going to hit this sack. Go to bed. I got to edit this up so it's ready for you in the morning. Oh, and then. Go to bed. Sorry guys, not much happened today. I know today's vlog was just sort of me sitting around the house here trying to get a few things done. I was working on the store. If you go to uh, the Trucker Josh store, I believe it's www.truckerjoshvlogs.ca. No, .spreadshirt.ca. I'll put the link down below in the description for you guys. If you guys do want to check it out, you guys don't really have to buy anything from the store if you don't want to, but hey, if you'd like to support the channel, support me a little bit uh, out of the kindness of your own hearts, then hey, by all means, uh, a lot of you have been asking for little merchandise things, shirts and stuff with my logos on it and stuff, and now it's expanded a little bit, and it's also in American currency, or at least it should be. Because that's just the more popular currency. I know, I wish Canadian currency and Canadian politics had more influence, but United States dollar is pretty much the going thing around the world, so everyone understands it a little bit more. If you start throwing our Canadian monopoly money in there, people get confused. So us Canadians, we're used to converting everything from American to Canadian anyways. However, in the States, they're not quite as used to converting from Canadian to the US dollar, which is perfectly fine and totally understandable, because why would they, right? So there you go. That's my reasoning behind that. I will see you tomorrow. Can't wait to get ready and leave. <sighs> I won't be going far tomorrow, so I'll be leaving tomorrow late afternoon. Go get the trailer and head on out. I'm looking forward to it, but as you can tell, it's been a long week, a long day. I'm tired. Time for me to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for putting up with this vlog today. Tomorrow, you should see some truck.